What's going on everybody? Mr. TechBot here. Today I got a Z-Box for you. I've already opened up one before. I enjoyed it. Let's see what we get in this one. Don't forget, we also have our Hulk Hogan giveaway. Stay tuned for details inside. Let's do it! What is going on everybody? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. We are going to get into something I've done one of the time before is a Z-Box. I was impressed with the last one. Remember the last one had a, a bunch of Harley Quinn stuff, a really cool Harley Quinn shirt, you know, Harley Quinn bombshell statue. So I just continued the subscription. I know my initial thing I think was three months. I got a, a subscription for three months. So I'm probably gonna continue it because I like them so far. I want to remind you guys to comment, like, and subscribe as always. And after you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that notification bell so we get notified of all the most recent videos that I put, do put out. Also, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram and Facebook accounts. You'll find that all down here. Lastly, you also I also want to remind you guys that every Friday, Wayne Co. Studios and I, we do a live stream at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'd love to see you guys on here in the future. So Z-Box, we have, I get this from Savvy, Savvy.com. I believe that's what it's called. But if you just go into Google.com, type in Z-Box, you will get them. This stuff does come from overseas, uh, somewhere in Europe, I believe. So it does take a little while for it to come in, but they've been very, very good on getting me my subscriptions on time. I've been really, really impressed with that. I don't know what the theme of this box. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go. So let's just check it out. Don't forget, it's the mystery box made for geeks. Or at least that's what their motto is. So hey, for being a, being a nerd channel, I think this is perfectly right up our alley. So as usual, I don't like to see what is inside the boxes. I'm gonna try to put this down here, lay this down, see what we got. We got some different boxes. Uh, I definitely see a sh feel a shirt. We got bubble packaging. Let's see, we got something small up top. Let's check it out. Ooh, that is actually awesome. Let me straighten those out because that this one this one's kind of oh that's hard it's twisted i guess it could be either way if you guys were in our uh, most recent live stream last friday you'll see that we were talking about the back to the future pops i am a huge back to the future fan i love that classic movie i can watch all three movies non-stop and then watch them again i absolutely love everything about the movie i still want my wife thinks i'm crazy i still want a delorean even though the engines suck I still want a DeLorean because of this movie. I don't care. I it's, it's my dream car. I know it's kind of it's kind of a sad dream car, but that's okay. It's my Back to the Future car, so I don't care. I want one of these. But these pins are awesome. Uh, it, it's got the uh, DeLorean coming out of the truck from the first movie, as well as it shows the Lone Pine Mall, which has the time on the front, which is around about the time he was going to meet Doc Brown. For that, this is based off the first movie. This is limited to 9,995 worldwide. That's cool. I dig that, I love that. That's a great start to this box. I really enjoy that. So let's see, we're gonna go with the t-shirt. I feel a t-shirt. Let's go with the t-shirt first. Who we got? Let's show it to you guys first. What do you guys think? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool? <laughs> that is awesome. I can tell that that it says Back to the Future in Japan. Or I'm hoping that's Japanese. Some sort of Asian characters. I know I have some fans from Japan. If I got some fans from Japan that are watching this, please verify that this is Japanese or if it's another another uh, uh, culture. Um, I would love to be able to, to tell you guys the, the correct one, but I'm not very good with characters. But I do absolutely love that. That is awesome. I will be wearing this shirt because this shirt, you will probably see this shirt in a future video because this thing is awesome. The Back to the Future fan in me is absolutely geeking out so far in this box and I absolutely love it, which in fact will add even more because I do have two of the Back to the Future Funkos pre-ordered. Probably order more before they actually release. I've got both the future Doc Brown and the future Marty McFly. We'll definitely be ordering the Biff Tannen because I think this is... I think this is the first time Biff Tannen's actually been a pop. It's old school 50s Biff Tannen. I think they've got still a lot more to work with. There's all been all kinds of different versions of Biff Tannen. Wow, I'm super impressed with this box. Now I got one big box here, but I've got something here that's in plastic. I'm gonna take this out first. Let's see what we got. What do we have here? Collect them all. This is a Best of Bethesda Mystery Mini Tin Totes. Oh, 
it's like a little mini lunchbox. So for, for what you guys don't know, Bethesda is a video game company. As I told you guys before, I, I've got Fallout Pops, not a huge Fallout fan, but they do make Fallout, but where I used to like Bethesda is they were big Wolfenstein. I don't know if you guys ever remember, I remember playing Wolfenstein and some of you guys, I may, I'm gonna date myself here, but I remember playing Turn of Castle Wolfenstein back when it was old floppy drives. You used to buy these little floppy disks from the, the record store. They sold these floppy disk games. And you put it in there. I think Doom was back uh, on those as well. But you used to put those in there. And it, the coolest thing sometimes is you could slash the, the Nazi banners that they had in there. And of course, then you, I mean, you got to kill Nazis. And through the years, as they've continued to remake Cat Return of Castle Wolfenstein, I've always been a big fan. I want to see... There's six different boxes in here, or no, six different mini totes. So I want to see which one I have. So let's check her out. All right, let's see which one we got. Because, hey, why not get a mystery box and then a mystery box? I love it. All right, y'all ready? Let's see which one. Where's the front? I'm going to guess this is the front. Dishonor. There's the front, actually. Dishonor. That one's cool. I would have loved to get the the Castle Wolfenstein one more, but uh, Dishonor 2 is pretty cool. So that was that was another cool game. But yeah, so that's the lunchbox we got for this one. I'm still stoked. I think that's definitely cool. So looks like I've got one more item. It's a larger one, so it kind of reminds me of, of the one from last month. But let's check it out. Ooh, Harley Quinn. So this is this is from Cryptozonic. Cryptozonic. I got one of these in the last Z-Box, which was the Harley Quinn bombshells. That one was definitely really, really cool. I, I like Harley Quinn. I know most of the new stuff nowadays is all being based off of the uh, Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn type look. But, you know, it's, there's something about... Uh, we, were, In fact, Wayne Co. and I were talking about this just in the live stream recently, that there's something about the old school look of Harley Quinn. And this is what Harley Quinn looked like in the old comic books. She doesn't look like what she does in the movies nowadays, which again, Margot Robbie has done a fantastic job with that character. There's something about the old school look of Harley Quinn that just, you know, I think it, I think there, there's a more of a great nostalgia factor in it. Uh, one of my great, out, the great outfits I think she's worn, which is the black and red uh, Jester outfit with the Jester hat. So these are really, really cool. I did have that Harley Quinn, the bombshells one, and I sold it. And then what's funny was, the moment I put that up, I think that sold within like a day or so. So people love them some Harley Quinn. It'll probably be the same fate. I do like this, the Harley Quinn, but a lot of times I will sell these things. So that way, of course, I can get some money so I can buy some more mystery box. That is definitely a cool box. We are empty. You know, I think typically Z boxes come with about four or five items, kind of like Bam Box. You know, it's different from what we're used to. It's not the Funkos. It's a good change up and, and it really gets me some really cool items that I haven't seen before. So again, we have the classic Harley Quinn statue here. We've got the Bethesda Mystery Mini Tote, which we got the Dishonor 2 one. We got the killer Back to the Future pins that I think are absolutely awesome. And then I think the best in this entire set, we got the Back to the Future shirt in Japanese. I'm hoping it's Japanese. Let me know. Some of you guys are from Japan uh, that I know that do watch the channel. Um, let me know about that. I think that is a killer mystery box. Some of them, sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to post some of the stuff, but I gotta keep changing it up from time to time. You know, we, we, we do different stuff, different mystery boxes. I'm still looking for new ones. I got a lot of people, a lot of you guys that are, are giving me good recommendations. But with that said, don't forget, as I said in the beginning, we do have our Hulk Hogan giveaway going on currently right now. This is gonna go to somebody. And it's really, really easy on how you win this. All you do is go to the last Insane Toy Shop video that I did, go to the comments, just post a comment up there, and within your comment, put Mr. TechBot Python Power, listed right down here below. Put that in that comment, and you are entered in for the giveaway. Just as easy as that. The drawing will be taking place on May 15th uh, during the live stream that Wayne Co. and I do every week. We will be doing that video sometime during throughout that live stream. So come on, check it out. Come enjoy a, a good conversation with us, whether it's about comics, whether it's about Funkos, whether it's about whatever you all want to talk about. If you ask some questions, we'll go with that. Also, I want to remind you guys that I do still currently have Mr. TechBot stickers. 
This is the first run, it is limited supply. So all you gotta do is share this video on either Instagram or Facebook, send me a screenshot in a DM, and also go ahead and give me your address in the DM on where you would like me to send this to. That's it, pretty simple. Other than that, that's really all I got for you guys. Again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell. Other than that, do what you like, do what you love, stay safe, and always, unleash your inner nerd. Take it easy, guys. Later.